So here's an example photo. And basically this is this is just an area um, in southeast Queensland off North Stradbroke Island. Okay, so we have our standard photo frame. And first of all, what you can't actually see, there are some, some small little circles in the corners and there should be two more down the bottom but they've just been chopped off here. And they're the fiducial, fiducial marks. And what we use them for is to be able to, if you join the fiducial marks diagonally across the centre, the point that's in the middle of the photo is then called the principal point. And we use this for some measurements and it's also useful for looking at stereo images. Now a number of other things have been circled in here. This, this one up here is saying it's Brisbane 9543, which is basically the serial number of the image, and this is useful for cataloging purposes. It also says that it, says that it has a scale of approximately 1 is to 25,000. Now it's important to note that if you're asked to calculate the scale in an aerial photo, this, this value here is just an average value and it will, it will apply to the whole run. It's not specific to this individual photo and scale will vary throughout the photo as well if there's significant variability in the terrain. So that's why we do calculate it from the, from the image itself. So moving from left to right, we have this little orange smudge here. Now these can actually provide a lot of information. On this particular image here, what you can't see because it's, it's a little bit too small is that we'll be giving you camera specifications. So it usually tells you, say, the focal length of a camera, for example. And that's usually around 152 millimetres or so. Now, on the, in the photo that you've got in the practical, there's a number of these orange dials lined up. And the way you view them is that once you read one of them, so say if there's numbers on one of them, for example, all the others are aligned in exactly the same direction. So there might be a dial with a time on it that the image was acquired, and you read that in exactly the same direction as you would read the one with the focal length on it. This information here tells us, tells us that it's run 12 and photo number 099 to 127. So what that means is that the camera system has flown at least 12 flight lines and within this particular flight line it has captured photo numbers 99 through 127. This also relates to this number over here which means it's photo number 104 within this particular flight line. We also have some information on the date. So this, this image was acquired in, um, in June of 91 and you have the flying height above mean sea level. And that's an important measure that you need to use for calculating scale. This particular image also has a datum, so it says it's 350 metre datum, which is basically telling you the average terrain height, not of this particular photo, but again of that entire run. So of all of run 12, it's, that's the average height. And you could tell from this particular photo, this is, um, this is just off a small island off the coast of Queensland, that there's actually not, the elevation of this particular photo is not actually 350 metres, there's a large area that would be at zero metres mean sea level. So you need to calculate that value for yourself based on an individual photo. This photo also has an estimated north, north arrow, so that's useful in orientating your photo to any maps or other images that you may have. And it also has some information based on the copyright and who actually acquired the image.